Welcome YouTube fans, unboxers, collectors, magic, you know, fans. Uh, today we're going to do another unboxing. And uh, yeah, you can see here, bum, bum, bum. Okay, this is going to be one of the last uh, box openings of Core 2020 for uh, a little while. Um, I am uh, going to have some Modern Horizons coming in. So, uh, until that time, um, this will be one of the last Core 2020s. I'm looking for something to open up the box. So, something uh, original, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what have I been opening the boxes with? Ah, yes, I have something here uh, that might work. Hmm, this maybe? I don't know. Ah, here we go. Well, we'll just use a system board here. Does that work? Oh, that works. That worked. All right. Well, cool. So, um, Core 2020. It's been around for a couple of weeks now. Uh, not that special, but it's a core. So, don't expect, you know, running six prizes of the cars that are in there. Oh, that one. Forgot one. Um, the uh, prices have been uh, kind of steady, um, I guess with the core 2020 um, so let's get cracking and we'll see what we got they're all uh, upside down I, I think uh, here we go with the comments so uh, core 2020 um, yeah overall risen reef nice card there's a lot of elementals in it there's a lot of uh, angel stuff going on and a great rough diggers Cage, yeah, rough. Yeah, you try to pronounce that if you're not Dutch. <laughs> good, good luck. So, I haven't seen this one before. Yeah, creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Oh, that is a nice one. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. Oh, that is an interesting card, I have to say. So, let's get going. Um... Yeah, and um, Commander 2019, huh? Uh, some stuff has been leaking. Uh, some information. Uh, populate and morph and... Oh, there's, a, there's one of the lands. I'm going to put the lands over here. The special ones. And a foily. Do we have enough space? Yeah, I guess we do. Uh, yeah, it's been an interesting... Uh, an interesting development in the last couple of months it's been it's been nuts and well i joined in i guess right at the time it got nuts night pack ambusher there we go uh, yeah the uh, the amount of uh releases is insane i mean we got core or we had uh well dominaria war of the spark uh then uh, modern horizons and Temple of Epiphany. There we go. And um, then we got uh, Core 2020. Now we have Commander 2019 coming up. I ordered one, so I have all the packs. That'll be nice uh, to have. I can build something with that, I hope. Uh, Flood of Tears. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hand. That's a nice one. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been an interesting development. Um, the amount of, uh, expansions or packs or themes it is going nuts. And the Mystic Forge. Yeah, no mythics yet, guys. And gals. There's, there's always a few. There's always a few. Um, yeah, the... The amount of, of, of packs and, and themes and stuff that coming out, and then Eldrain coming out. Oh, and then the Dawn of Dreams. Nice, you know, you know, where's my, where's Nemo? Um, and yeah, Eldrain. I don't know, man. It's it's an interesting one. It's going to be one of those oddballs, I think. I mean, it's it's going to be fairy tale themes. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 interesting. 
I I'm curious at what is uh, you know what's it gonna bring. And there's Golos, Stylus Pilgrim. A normal land. Oh, and a foil land. Oh, there we go. So yeah. And uh, well, uh, the vintage market, the vintage uh, market has been slowing down a little bit, but I think it's still insane the amount of pri or the prices that people pay for uh, certain cards, alpha, betas, and uh, unlimiteds, revised, the dual lands, man, the dual lands. I, I'm, I'm telling you, those dual lands are insanely priced, but. Yeah, some people use them. They actually do use them. Yeah. Uh, Lightning Stormkin. And a, a bag of holding. Whenever you discard a card, exile that card for, from your graveyard. Okay. Well, draw a card, then discard a card. Interesting. And a uh, four sacrifice bag of holding. Return all cards exiled with bag of holding to their owner's hand. Okay, let me... There we go. That is better. See? Yep. And the artwork? Yep. It's full of goodies. Bag of holding, man. That reminds me of D&D. &D. Yep. Angelic gift. And the foily. D&D &D with a bag of holding. Yep. The, the original one. That could keep some stuff in there, huh? And, oh, the Colossus Hammer. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting card, I have to say. And the Thunderkin Awakener. The uh, the hammer, I played with it, and, uh, well, it's an interesting Aether Gust. Okay. Choose old target, or choose target spell or permanent that's red or green. Its owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Okay. Um, yeah, the, um, uh, the, the hammer, I mean, a plus 10, plus 10. Okay, you lose flying, but if you don't have any flying anyway, then who cares, huh? And even if you do... <laughs> Try stopping a, you know, 1717 uh, or something, uh, Angel, you know, uh, good luck. And a rotting Regasaur. Yep, it rots, all right. Uh, I am curious about uh, the black color. I haven't played that a lot. I mean, uh, uh, there are some nice cards in there, but there's always some you know backfiring part which could also you know be into your advantage the true I have to keep these cards a little bit more towards the camera huh legions end so far still no mythics hmm all right all right um yeah and uh core 2020 we're gonna see what happens oh well there is the first mythic kaikar winds fury and a, ooh, a foil agent of treachery. Human rogue. Look at the light up there. Look at the orb. Yeah. Um, the, um, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. The uh, 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 rares and mythics. Um, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm curious on what, what weights it's going to go. I mean, oh, brought back. Um, and the land cycle, scry one, scry one, scry one, it, it, it can have potential, it can have potential, I'm telling you. Uh, this one even says scry two, which is also nice, and it's a common. The, uh, and the market, uh, the cart market has a lot of M20 cards on it there. Dragoseth, uh, look at the casting cost, man, it's seven. And it's not, you know, it's not that special. It deals four damage to any target and three damage to each up to two other targets. And then it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. So it has, you know, the potential of doing a lot of damage. But before you got it on the on the, uh, on the the table, whoo. Fortress Crab. Um, yeah, and I have some um, Modern Horizon boxes coming up. As you know, maybe, as you could see in the other videos, I had some luck. <laughs> That's an understatement. And, um, yeah, uh, I used that to... Oh, Voracious Hydra with Trample and X. Oh, man, this card is strong. It is strong. You can double the, the amount of plus one, one, plus one counters on Voracious Hydra. It 
is insane. Or you can fight one target that you don't control. But the uh, plus, uh, plus one, double the plus one, plus one, man, that makes it strong. It is trample, and then put the artifact 1010 on it. Yeah, yeah, think about it, think about it. And then you're fried, yeah. And there's the normal agent of treachery. And I see a uncommon howling giant foil behind it. Um, yeah, one mythic, huh? One mythic. And uh, I'm uh, risking my life here uh, by sitting here doing this uh, video with a sweltering 30 degrees outside and Mu Yanling Skydancer. Uh, it is warm outside and I'm in the attic. So yeah, you know, think about that. It is so warm. It is so warm. Uh, and the Knight of the Evan Legion, and that is also a very nasty card. Well, if you can read it, there you go. Is it? Yeah, there it's. There you go. There is some uh, potential with this card. Plus three, plus three, and gain te death touch. So yeah, uh, and if a player lost so uh, four life this turn or more, you could put another counter on this one. So yeah, it can be strong, especially in Commander, where there's a lot of you know damage being done over, over and over, and it has Death Touch. So good luck with that. Blood for Bones, and a Ley Line. There we go. Here's the first Ley Line. Yep, I've been having a lot of Ley Lines and zero Mythic Chandras. Which I would love to get. I would love to get a mythic genre. Then I have all the uh, three of them. Um, it's just you know, it's just a collector's thing. It's just that masterful replication. I need to keep this stuff in the middle of the camera. You know how hard that is if you're focusing on the cards and on the camera. As you maybe just look at the camera itself, huh? Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> anyway. Um, Today is a uh, is Sunday, so I'm not doing that much. Um, Villas Broker of Blood, yep, and a foil thicker thicket crasher. Um, I'm doing this unboxing video, and well, because it's so hot, there's no way I can do anything else. It's just, it's insane. It's uh, insane. Um, and the, uh, oh, and the Cavalier of Dawn. I haven't seen that one yet, I think. Hmm. The, uh, so the next expansion, or an, it's not an expansion, so Commander 2019. Um, I think, uh, I think it's going to be an interesting one because they, everybody was complaining that 2018 was kind of crap. <laughs> you might want to put it. Uh, hanged executioner. Uh, the um, the amount of well crap going around was just you know the uh, with the uh, 2018 it was not that strong, and the value of the deck is also lower than the sell price. Scheming symmetry. Hmm. So that just makes it you know less appealing to buy um, 2019 has you know people excited Temple of Triumph there we go the third land oh Chandra's Regulator foil that's an interesting one it's another didn't we already have a rare yeah well so we got two rare foils hmm oh. uh, what was that oh yeah um, uh, 2019 has people excited people are buying it so if it's another disappointment 2020 you know they're gonna bring that out command 2020 it's gonna yeah people are gonna be pissed planar cleansing probably want their money back because it has to be an awesome deck this time it has to be and for that kind of value there there has to be something good in there 
Uh, there, oh, and another agent of treachery. That is interesting. And only one ley line and three mythics. This box is, well, in the scry lands, three of them. This box is weird, man. This box is weird compared to the other ones. I am not getting it. Oh, there's Leyland of Combustion. So, uh, two, three, four, five, six packs left. Um, I do want to mention one thing, and um, I am having a giveaway, and now I need to do this carefully. Watch this. This is the Altered Art card, and this is the casting cost. So, why won't it stay focused? Trying to get it to focus. There we go. It's a, well, three and one blue. Focuses back onto the card by down there. I'll just do this. There we go. And, um, there we go. Now it's nice and clear. You can see the altered art part, that it's nice and you know, you, you can't really tell. It's an awesome job. It's an awesome job, people. I'm going to give away this card to the, well, one of the first hundred subscribers to my channel. And the Blue Pangolin website right here, the Facebook website, like it and subscribe to my channel. Those are the only two things you need to do. So, I'm telling you, subscribe. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. And, uh, yeah, if you subscribe and uh, you don't have Facebook or anything, you know, just let us know so that we know. Or go to the, uh, to the Blue Pangolin website. It's uh, thebluepangolin.com. And leave a message. Send her a message. You know, just let them know that... You don't have it. Oh, another Chandra Regulator. Um, and a land. And Audacious Thief. And it'll be fine. But you have to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And you need to put some a little bit of effort into it if you, can, if you don't have Facebook. Which most people do have Facebook. Let's be honest. Um, but if you don't, do it that way. Leave a message. And uh, it'll be fine. Starfield Mystic for another rare. Okay, well, there's uh, four packs left. Here we go. Are we going to get another Mythic? Are we going to get another Mythic? There we go, there we go, there we go. And Cryptic Caves, Blight Beetle, Sky Knight, and Wake Root Elemental. Nope, nope, three packs left. Oh, come on, Chandra. Be in here. Be, be the fourth mythic of this box. Please, but probably not. Okay, let's see. So we got Angel of Vitality, Retributive Wand. I can't tell the color yet, so. Oh, it's blue. Ah, is it maybe the Cavalier? Nope, Dungeon Geist. Dungeon Geist. Two left. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. This is a weird box, man. Compared to the other ones I did, it's a weird one. The other ones I had like four or five ley lines. I had four mythics and a shitload of, or a hootload of lands. Sorry. A mask of immolation and a bag of holding. But there are some cards in here that I didn't get back then. And a foil swampy. All right, last pack. Here we go. This is going to be the lottery code. This is going to be the awesome one. The last one. Please subscribe. Like this. Like this video. Give me the give me the hope of making another one. And use a key. I got the key. I got the secret. And. Gargos, Voracious Watcher. Well, there it is. That is actually a nice commander for the Hydrates. But we're done. Thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.